Hey there pilots, welcome to Titan Time, Dan here and let's try out the Ordnance Expert perk available in your Tier 1 pilot kit. So the question is, how quickly does it refresh your Ordnance and does it help with aiming and what sort of player is this useful for? So let's take a look and start off with the grenades. Now the timing is the same for both frag and art grenades. So with Ordnance Expert it takes 25 seconds to fully charge both grenades and 37 seconds without. So essentially Ordnance Expert gives you a grenade every 12.5 seconds. So what about Firestar and Gravity Star? Well it's 16 seconds to recharge with Ordnance Expert and 24 without. Electric Smoke will be 14 seconds with Ordnance Expert and 20 without. And satchels, well with Ordnance Expert, the refresh time will be exactly the same as grenades, with 25 seconds for two charges, but 37 seconds without, compared to the grenades 35 seconds base refresh time without Ordnance Expert. Now does Ordnance Expert affect your respawn cooldown as well? And the answer is no. When you use the Smoke, Firestar or Gravity Star, if you use any of these and die, your refresh time is carried over when you respawn. When using the Frag or Arc Grenades however, you will automatically respawn with two fresh grenades, whether you're using Ordnance Expert or not. So that gets the numbers out of the way, but what about the Expert part? Ordnance Expert gives you a blue line to show the throw trajectory, just like in the single player campaign. And after playing with Ordnance Expert equipped for about 2-3 to three hours, here's what I've noticed. The arc itself is mainly beneficial to players who are just trying out a new type of Ordnance, as it helps getting used to the throw distance of whichever new Ordnance you've equipped. The arc is more effective at closer ranges, as it can be hard to see the trajectory at a distance, and in fact in some cases, I found at the time it took me to line up my distant throws, by the time I had my grenade would explode before reaching where I wanted it to land. And other times I'd have to aim so high that I would no longer be able to see where my grenade would actually be landing, meaning I'm blind from what's going on in front of me whilst throwing my grenades. And at close range, I found that really the arc outline is fairly useless, as at closer ranges it's much more easy to hit your targets anyway. Not only that, but you still have to factor in travel time when a pilot is moving fast. In my opinion, I found this addition to be fairly detrimental to my gameplay, as I tend to be over-focusing on my trajectory to try and get my ordnance to land exactly where I want it to. On the whole, it's usually quicker to just gun down the enemy than trying to kill them with a grenade. Which is why for my playstyle, I use the Firestar or Electric Smoke, to help restrict enemy movement or to force an enemy out of cover. Basically, my ordnance is used to assist my team or to play defensively, not just to try and get more kills. After a while, you just get used to the ordnance arc anyway, and just from muscle memory, I can tend to hit distant targets with the Firestar just as effectively as if I had the aim assist from Ordnance Expert. So on the whole, Ordnance Expert is the most effective because of its quicker refresh time, not because of the throw trajectory it gives you. So does it have a place in your pilot kit option? Now the problem is that Ordnance Expert has such tough competition for most modes, with Power Cell, Fast Regen and Phase Embark going head to head with it. Whilst having that extra Ordnance for last Titan standing can be helpful once you're out of your Titan, having Phase Embark is just as important, helping you get those batteries around the map quicker so you can keep your Titan longer. But if you love your Ordnance, this option still has a place for you. So let us know in the comments if you've used it yet, or if the other kit options are just too crucial for when it comes to your playstyle. Thanks for watching pilots, and we'll catch you next time.